The United Nations was founded right here in the United States in 1945 at the end of World War II. It was set up at the Presidio in San Francisco by our military industrial complex. The Rockefellers put up the money to build Rockefeller Center and to also give them the land for the United Nations. So this whole area is New World Order funded and controlled. And basically it's a debating club to make the third world think that they have authority and to think that they're part of the power process. But really the G8 or the G8 nations control the United Nations through the Security Council. We hear the reports all the time. They're in the news where some UN bureaucrat runs over somebody when they're drunk driving in New York or Washington, D.C. And nothing can happen to them. But it gets a lot worse than that. The United Nations has been caught hundreds of times running giant sex rings with kidnapped women and children out of Europe, Asia, Africa, the Middle East. It's a huge business. And right here in New York, they routinely catch these UN officials and even low-level bureaucrats with their own house slaves. Many times it'll be some UN delegate from Asia, and he's got some kidnapped little girl from Russia. So these are the people in here telling you that world government's good and that they need to run your life. And you look at the UN's Charter and Declaration of Human Rights, it says you don't have any rights. It says the UN is the absolute arbiter and authority. And now we see our own government adopting the UN model of governance. The United Nations believes that private property should be in their hands controlled by them. And when it comes to self-defense, back in 2000 at a UN meeting held here, their organization Unidir called for all civilian firearms to be confiscated. In fact, they stated that civilian ownership of firearms threatens the legitimate power monopoly of the state. Now, what's a power monopoly of the state? That's a dictatorship or martial law. And they strive to have governments have the monopoly of power over the people. Remember who was for gun control? Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Fidel Castro. In every case, if a government tries to disarm you, it's tyrannical. Black Americans couldn't own a gun. Native Americans had their firearms confiscated. Roman slaves 2,000 years ago couldn't own a sword or even a knife. Being disarmed is one of the key hallmarks of a society that's enslaved to its government. pile of fake signs meant to look like they were individually made. Getting slick here. Republicans do that too. See, this is a UN operation. This is a UN operation, so look how it's all meant to look like it's uh, individuals. Imagine what would happen if these tens of thousands of people were truly informed about the nature of the geopolitical system. Imagine if they saw the big picture and understood that the UN is controlled by the same people that run George W. Bush. But they're all here beneath the United Nations calling for it to be the global authority and that somehow all of the ills in our government are caused by national sovereignty. When that's not the case, my friends. The people destroying America are the very people that created the United Nations. It is nothing more than a rubber stamp, a front group of the military industrial complex of the new world order year after year the peace act has come out in an ineffective move criticizing republicans but it's impossible for them to ever criticize democrats who are as the cliche goes two sides of the same coin democrats and liberals progressives socialists communists whatever you want to call them can see the corruption of the republican party which is there for anybody to see it's horrible but they can't see the corruption of the united nations that had thousands and thousands of Indians murdered in Burma just a few years ago to make room for United Nations uh, UNESCO land sanctuary. These guys can see the corruption of the big oil companies, but they don't want to see the documents showing that the big oil companies put up the money to found the United Nations so they could control this growing world government body way back in the mid-1940s. You know, we've got the documents where 
Dr. Henry Kissinger back in 1973, told the most populated five third world nations that they had to sterilize forcibly half their women or they wouldn't get IMF and World Bank funding. And the United Nations certified that plan with the IMF and World Bank and helped carry that out. The UN's been caught being involved in sterilization programs in Latin America, in Asia, in Africa. And the last six years, two separate cases in Asia and Africa, the UN has been caught in massive vaccine programs, tainting them with a very expensive synthetic hormone. They bind it to the tetanus pathogen, give it to women. It's a program only for women because it wouldn't hurt men. And it then permanently sterilizes the women. Now, how is that loving and good? Well, you see, the United Nations thinks that population control is a good thing, both physically with the police state, but also stopping people's reproductive rights, sterilizing them. The UN has put out dozens of public documents where they're calling for an 80% world population reduction. In fact, at the Beijing Women's Conference, the World Conference, back in 1997, the head of the UN food program said, we will use food as a weapon against the people and we do not apologize about it and they also gave china awards for their horribly vicious one child policy and now you've got thirty five million more men in china than you have women it's causing a societal breakdown even the communist chinese are backing off that policy and the u.n. has been urging them not to most of these people here are well-meaning good folks just like most of the idiots at the republican national convention are they can't see evil. They can't name evil. They can't face up to what it is. The facts are a bunch of Malthusian, social Darwinist, same people that funded the Nazis, set up the UN to con good liberal-minded people into being part of this system. That's all this is, is something to co-opt the population and to enslave the population and to misdirect people into thinking that they have a real escape from the fascism of the Republican Party and other right-wing command and control dictatorships around the planet.